Let's talk about uh, the acceptor circuit. The series resonance circuit is often called as acceptor circuit. By offering a minimum impedance to the current at the resonant frequency, it is able to it is able to select or accept most readily this particular frequency among many frequencies. In radio receivers, the resonant frequency of the circuit is tuned to the frequency of the des signal desired to be detected. This is usually done by varying the capacitance of a capacitor. The selectivity or sharpness of a resonance circuit is measured by the quality factor Q factor. In other words, it refers to the sharpness of tuning of tuning a resonances. The Q factor of a series resonance circuit is defined as the ratio of the voltage across a coil or a capacitor to the applied voltage. The voltage across L is equal to I into omega naught L, where omega naught is the angular frequency of the AC at resonance. And L is the inductance, C is the capacitance and I is the current. The applied voltage at resonance is a potential drop across the resistance R because the drop in resistance or potential between the inductance and the capacitance are equal and they are 180 degree out of phase. Therefore, they cancel out and the potential drop across R will exist. So, the applied voltage V is equal to I into R. So, voltage across L is given by I into omega naught L. And applied voltage is equal to I R. So, substituting 2 and 3, you will be getting Q is equal to voltage across L and C. You have to be applied voltage. Omega L so, I will get cancelled. Omega naught L divided by R. As you know, omega naught is equal to 1 by root of LC. Replacing it, you will be getting 1 by root LC into L by R. Simplifying it, you will be getting a quality factor Q is equal to 1 by R into root of L by C. So, Q is just a number which is having a value between 10 and 100 for normal frequencies. The circuit with the highest Q value would respond to a very narrow frequency range and vice versa. Thus, a circuit with a very high Q value is sharply tuned while the circuit with a low Q value will be having a flat resonance. So, the Q factor will be increased by having a coil of large inductance but of small ohmic resistance. The current frequency curve is quite flat for large values. And it becomes sharp for the resistance decreases. So, in turn, the, value of la the large value of resistances will have a frequency curve which is quite flat. You are able to see it here. And the value of resistance decreases, the frequency of the curve is sharp. The curve is also called as a frequency response curve. This is the definition of frequency response curve.